Just a few feet from tragedy, the man who was shoved in front of a Max train near Providence Park tonight, talking to Coin6 about his harrowing experience. It is 11 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. This comes after the suspect accused of shoving the man was arraigned in court on multiple charges, including attempted murder. Joyce Ugiri is live tonight after having the chance to speak with the victim, and she brings us the details. Joyce? Well, Liz, this just happened a few days ago, and he says he's very anxious about what happened, but he says he's ready to get back to normal. I'm just trying to move on and keep going. Patrick Kirby is still shaking up over what happened to him Tuesday afternoon. He just got off of work and was waiting for a train at Providence Park Max Station. The train comes up, I see it coming, look to my left, day like any other. All of a sudden, I just feel a shove from behind me, and then I'm on the track. That shove, according to investigators, came from Michael Moreland, who was in court Wednesday and pleaded not guilty. Moreland is accused of pushing Patrick in front of the oncoming train. All of a sudden, I see a Max coming to the left of me. I don't really register the danger or anything. It hadn't really sunk in, but I am glad that driver stopped as quickly as they did, and they're my hero. Patrick's hero is Max operator Dave Chastain. He spoke with me about slowing down when he saw the suspect. I saw a gentleman running, and I had a single train, so I just assumed he was running towards the front of the platform to get where the single train was going to be. And then all of a sudden, he ran towards the tracks and shoved a guy right into the tracks in front of me. I never talked to him in my life. I don't believe I've even really noticed him around here. Multnomah County Sheriff's deputies later arrested Moreland for shoving Patrick, but that's not all. According to court documents, a few blocks away, Moreland punched a man in the face and robbed multiple people while being armed with a pair of scissors. Patrick's not sure why he was targeted, but he has this message for his hero, the Max train operator. I am thankful it was you there, and I am sorry that you had to go through this experience as well. Patrick tells me that he's staying away from the MAX platform for now and he won't be riding MAX trains. He's using other modes of transportation to get around town and Moreland will go before a grand jury next week. Live at Providence Park, Joyce O'Geary, Coin6 News.